After 115 years, today was the last mass for Our Lady of Victory in Jefferson Park. Gander Hall has more on how parishioners are saying goodbye. A lot of people grew up here. Lots of fun here, lots of stories, lots of memories. For the Handrigan family, their roots at Our Lady of Victory run deep. Just sad to see it go. Their father was a deacon here, and over the decades here, they celebrated baptisms and communions and weddings. And in September, they gathered for the funeral for their mom. Today is the last mass, unfortunately. Um, it is very sad to see an icon of the neighborhood disappear. I don't know where I'm going to go to church right now because I'm so sad. The Jefferson Park Parish dates back to 1906. Last year, the Archdiocese of Chicago announced plans to close Our Lady of Victory, merging the parish with others as part of the Renew My Church restructuring plan. The community jumped into action, organizing a campaign, even appealing to the Vatican to try to save OLV with no luck. Like I said, very hard to accept. Today was the last mass, but it's unclear what will happen next for the historic building. And it's a beautiful space, it's holy, it's amazing. My, our kids were baptized here and everything, so yeah, a lot of history. And it was really hard. This is like a second funeral. You know, we went through that with the school and now we're going through that with, with the church. And it is so, we were a family here. The works of For now, longtime parishioners say they'll carry the spirit of the church family in their memories. It's something that will always be remembered, but it's very hard to accept. Gaynor Hall, WGN News. I